Hi everybody, welcome back to Carlito's Kitchen. Today I want to show you how to fillet a grouper. This is a lovely fish, let me tell you. Here's my friend. Hello, yes. Carlito doesn't like me anymore. But anyway, we got the fish here. This is a whole fish, it's complete. It came from Punta Lobos. My friends uh, went fishing yesterday and caught this beautiful fish. Look at the gills, see how red they are? That indicates that it's very fresh. So, paper towels, your best friend when it comes to filleting fish. Because, you know, they're a little slimy. This is a Deva knife. This is what all the Japanese use to fillet the fish. I like them. They're nice and heavy, and see how thick they are? They also help you cut right through the bones. So we're gonna start this by cutting right here. We're gonna break the gill plate. And this knife being so heavy, it's just, it really helps. We'll cut that part. Now, best part, removing the inners. So we'll go here. Now it's open. Open sesame. There you go. Once you separate that part, which is the bottom of the gill, you put your hand there and just pull on it. See that? And that just brings everything out. This, bye bye, in a little bowl. Pepper towels, best friend, remember? Right here. So clean the board, clean that, one more. Let's clean the cavity. Everybody thinks, well, I don't want to clean fish. It's really messy, it's really yucky. Have you noticed, I wanted to do this just on the cutting board. I don't have a big sink, I don't have running water. Why, because I want to show you how really simple it is, and I'm all I'm using is just paper towels. So another thing that I want to add to this, if you're the avid fisherman and you go fishing, well, when you're out to sea, and the little guy comes alive in the board. Grab your knife and just open up the gill plate and run your knife just a little bit there. And you'll see the fish is gonna start bleeding. That's the best thing you can do to your catch when you're on the boat. After that, immediately put it into some ice. Ice water helps the best to tell you the truth. Now it's clean. We're gonna remove the head. The knife just slides perfectly in there and then you flip it, and the same thing is here. It's kind of like a guide, and more fisher. Now, you can grab this with your knife, and just do that. See how that broke apart? Now you can watch, like this. You can watch your rest of your body get filleted. Anyway. Now we'll go to the top of the loin. Always start by a knife and just, if you need to leave it just for filleting, leave it just for filleting, because this is important. You don't want this to be a hustle. And let me tell you, having a knife dedicated just to this, it's nice. Let's remove the comma. This is another part that I serve in my restaurant and people just go crazy for. Now let's do the outline of the fish. See how I'm always cleaning the knife every time I go inside the fish because I don't, all the slime from the outside of the fish contains bacteria. I don't want to add any of that bacteria inside my fish. Especially, I serve a lot of these fish raw in my restaurant. So it's very important that it stays completely clean. So I separated this side in the back so right here is the rib cage. So we need to separate that rib cage and just by, oops, by doing that, see? One side. Just put that here. Okay. I'm gonna switch blades now. This knife by being longer, it helps this, it helps to do this pretty much in one stroke. This knife is so, this knife is so sharp that it almost wants to cut into the meat. Remove this. We got one more side to go. Put that over here. So I'm all about tips and how to make things a little bit easier. 
Another thing that we can do here that helps a lot, is use your towel and grab the bottom of the skin. See, it won't move, like it's just, you got a perfect grip to it. See that? Okay, here, we can do two things with this. We're gonna separate the top loin, we're gonna separate the bottom loin. So if you run your blade through here, by doing this, there's a bunch of little bones, and they're here. They're on the first part of the top loin. So by doing that, and then this, and now we remove the belly. We discard this over here. That's clean, and that's clean, and there's no bones anywhere on the meat of the fish. And because this fish is nice and young, there's not a lot of fat on it. So I think it's just perfect to make ceviche with it. So we're gonna separate that bottom part again. There's the top loin, nice and clean. Then we'll just get the bottom part now. Okay, so, I need a plate. I wanna plate this. There's the top loin, here's the other one. Here's my two little pieces. And that's it. Just took a few minutes. So if you pay attention to this tutorial, you watch it a couple of times, don't be intimidated. It should be quite easy. So until next time, there's a beautiful grouper. It's pretty much the same if you fillet a grouper or a red snapper, but don't be intimidated. Just bring it home. The longest is nice and fresh. You're gonna have fun. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Enjoy. Ha <laughs> ha.